All right, so this is your introduction to the ASP, uh, and in this tutorial I will hopefully help you find an author that you will want to spend some time with for this long project. So in this process we're going to be helped with the uh, librarian dude who's right here. He also has a trusty sidekick, and that's uh, Cal. So let's begin. You're probably in this state right now where you have all these different authors to choose from. And you may be thinking you want to do someone more sort of traditional, like Ernest Hemingway. Or maybe you want someone more contemporary, like Michael Chabon. Uh, maybe you want someone who tackles very serious themes, like Toni Morrison. Um, or someone who is more satiric, like Kurt Vonnegut. Um, or someone who tackles family issues uh, and multi-generational sort of American theme issues, like Amy Tan. Or someone who is looking to the future and imagines this sort of dystopian world like Margaret Atwood. Um, whoever you pick, we want to make sure that you pick someone that you uh, can spend time with and that you really enjoy. Because as Mar Margaret Atwood says, uh, I read for pleasure and that is the moment I learn the most. And that is what we hope this project becomes, is, uh, is an opportunity for you to read for pleasure and also to learn a lot about your author. So, choose wisely. I'm going to give you some suggestions for how to find the right author for you. Um, and in comparing authors, we want you to look at biographical information, um, the author's books, and then reviews and or criticism. And I'll be covering the first two in this tutorial, and then I'll save the literary criticism tutorial for another time. So let's start with bio biographical information. Um, here's how you can find some information, and let's use Mark Twain as our uh, example here. Um, if you go to the Mountain View site and go to the library site and choose the Mountain View High School databases, you'll see the databases uh, here and you'll need to know the username and password which you can get from your teacher or librarian. Um, once you have your username and password, you'll hit proceed and you'll be taken to Gale, for example. And under Gale, if you just put in your author's uh, name at the top, you'll see that there are a number of uh, you know, reference materials for Mark Twain here that you could look at to get a sense of who he is, when he was writing, what kind of themes he was uh, tackling. Um, and what you're going to be looking for at this point is just general reference and biography information to help you get a sense of who the author is. Um, and Gale has a lot of great uh, sources. Uh, and as you can see from someone like Mark Twain, they have a lot of, a lot of information. Um, you can also go to some of the resources and context pages. And here, if you click on View All for Literature, you'll see a list of all the authors, many of whom are on the ASB list. There's Mark Twain right there. And there's a whole page here that you can look at. Um, and it includes reference material as well as other featured content. Here's so you can find some uh, criticism as well. So these are good pages to find general information about your author. Um, if you use eLibrary, if you just punch in your author's name, depending on how well or known well known he or she is, uh, they'll have a whole page as well devoted to the author. And here you can find information that includes reference material as well as other um, criticism. If you want to check out the public library resources for teens, that'll take you to the two public libraries, and they have a lot of great information. You'll just need to have a library card to access some of these. But under here, under online resources, you can find a whole host of encyclopedias and other homework help to help you. And so if you use World Book and punch in Mark Twain, you'll see a very general um, you know, overview of his life and work. Uh, that's much uh, better and more reliable than anything you'll find on Wikipedia. And it'll give you a list of all the books that you can choose from. Some other sources on the Mountain View um, Public Library page are under Literature. And if you go for Novelist or Literary Reference Center, you'll find a lot of information as well. The Los Altos uh, Public Library site is here. And if you go to Electronic Library, they also have a whole section devoted to literature sites, which will be very useful. All right, here are just a few. Um, in the library, we also have a number of reference books located in this section of the library. 
And there you'll find great reference books to help you get a sense of who your writer is there. Always remember when you're looking for those, last name first. So that'll help you find information about the author and the time period of the author. Um, if you want to find the author's actual books, we have a number of them in the library. And so um, what you'll do is you can find them in our library. You can also go to Amazon. Amazon is often very good to get reviews of books that are written by, you know, uh, regular readers rather than scholarly um, professors. And so here, if you, for example, look at The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, it'll let you browse the text often, as well as read reviews. Um, and these are ranked uh, by order of usefulness. And so you'll get the most useful reviews up front and the less useful reviews at the bottom. And remember, our fiction in the library is organized in the back, and it's organized by the author's last name. And so from A to Z, you'll get Alvarez all the way to the left, and you'll get someone like Vonnegut all the way to the right. And Mark Twain would be right about here if you're looking for him. Um, that concludes this overview. Hopefully this will help you find enough information to make a good choice about your author. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll go over how to find more specific literary criticism about the author's works. Um, if you have any questions, please contact your librarian or your teacher, and they can help you. And remember, from Kurt Vonnegut, that laughter and tears are both responses to frustration and exhaustion. I myself prefer to laugh since there's less cleaning up to do afterwards. So, as you embark on this big project, uh, just remember to keep laughing <laughs> rather than crying. All right, talk to you soon.